Okay, this is the solution to the problem I posed in the last video. If you haven't seen that video yet, click here to go watch it. This question is about the calculating the proportion of galaxies in the observable universe that's moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And to solve this, we need a few numbers. So, first of all, uh, this is a diagram of the observable universe with a radius of 46 billion light years. We've also got the cosmic expansion rate, which is 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec. So we're here in the Earth. Every megaparsec we go away, cosmic expansion rate increases by 70 kilometers per second. And then we've got the speed of light, which we'll need. So step one is to work out what the radius is where the galaxies are moving away from us faster than light. And that's simply finding how many of these megaparsecs we need to go for the expansion rate to equal the speed of light. So this little r is basically the speed of light divided by the expansion rate. Um, and this is in kilometers per second. So this actually needs to be 70,000 meters per second because the speed of light's in meters per second. Okay. So on my trusty Casio, that turns out to be around 4,000 uh, megaparsecs. Okay, so that's the radius of little r. And now what we want to do is turn this distance measure, megaparsecs, into light years so that we can compare it to the big r of the radius of the observable universe. So the conversion rate is that one parsec is about equal to 3.26 light years. So plugging this into the calculator, we basically get 14,000, which will be not 14,000 light years, but 14,000 mega light years. So that's 14 giga light years. 14 billion light years, basically. So R equals 14 billion light years. Okay, so now we can compare 14 billion light years to the 46 billion light years. And that will give us the proportion of galaxies that are in this region here, where they're moving away faster than the speed of light. But we can't just compare them directly because these things aren't just areas, they're actually volumes. So we've got the small volume and then the large volume on the outside. So what we'll need is the equation for the volume of a sphere, which you should remember from school, four over three, oops, pi r cubed. So now we can just compare the ratio of the little volume to the big volume. So this will be V little r against V big R. So this is V little r, this is V big R. And we don't need to have the four over three pi because they'll cancel out. So all we have here is 14 cubed divided by 46 cubed which equals which equals 0 0.028 so if you multiply this by 100 to turn it into a percentage that's actually like equals 2.8% so this is telling us that 2.8% of the galaxy is within is not moving away from us faster than light. So that means 100 minus 2.8, which is, a, is roughly 97%. So that's the answer. 97% of the galaxies in the observable universe are traveling away from us faster than the speed of light. Quick shout out to these people for giving it a go and posting the answers in the original video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video. If it's a popular format, I might do some more. All right, bye.